A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Wilmore and Williams were on hand to help with Starliner's departure from the space station. We have your backs, and you've got this. Williams radioed to mission controllers at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston prior to the capsule's undocking. Bring her back to Earth. Good luck. Starliner's return journey will be closely watched, as it marks the end of a dramatic few months for Boeing and NASA. The test flight was meant to demonstrate that the spacecraft could reliably ferry astronauts to and from low Earth orbit, thereby paving the way for NASA to certify Boeing to conduct regular trips to the space station. Instead, the thruster issues became the latest major setback for Boeing's Starliner program, which even before the launch was more than $1.5 billion over budget and years behind schedule. An uncrewed test flight that NASA required of Boeing before its spacecraft could carry astronauts also went awry the first time, and the company had to repeat it in 2022. NASA officials said earlier this week that the space agency is working with Boeing on modifications to Starliner's thrusters. Additional analysis will be carried out once the vehicle is back and engineers have had a chance to evaluate how it performed. To account for potential thruster malfunctions as Starliner begins its trip home, flight controllers modified the capsule's normal undocking process. After detaching from the space station, Starliner autonomously flew up and away from the station to protect it in case something went wrong. Preliminary data showed that the thrusters performed well on all 12 scheduled burns as it backed away, according to NASA. In several hours, at 11.17 p.m. Eastern Time, Starliner's engines will fire a 59-second deorbit burn to slow the spacecraft and send it plummeting through Earth's atmosphere. As it nears its landing site in New Mexico, parachutes will be deployed to slow the capsule, and airbags will deploy underneath the spacecraft to cushion its touchdown. For Boeing, a successful return of its Starliner capsule will likely be bittersweet. If all goes smoothly, it may indicate that the NASA astronauts could have flown home safely on the spacecraft, even though the agency's top officials voted unanimously to call on SpaceX for the return flight to minimize the risk of additional failures. Boeing developed its Starliner spacecraft under NASA's Commercial Crew Program, an initiative launched in 2011 to support privately built space vehicles in order to fill the gap left by NASA's retired space shuttles. Rival company SpaceX developed its Crew Dragon spacecraft as part of the same program and has been conducting routine flights to and from the space station since 2020. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft returned to Earth uncrewed after a three month flight test to the International Space Station, ISS, NASA said on Saturday. The spacecraft successfully landed at the White Sands Space Harbor in New Mexico on September 6. The Starliner launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida on June 5 with NASA. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams on board, in what was intended to be a short eight-day mission dubbed the Crew Flight Test Mission. The mission was Starliner's final flight test and aimed to validate the transportation system, with the astronauts checking its operational capabilities. Having long finished those tasks, NASA said Wilmore and Williams have instead turned to helping the other ISS crew with maintenance tasks, science experiments, and station research. Some of the science they've recently completed includes new ways to produce fiber optic cables and growing plants aboard the orbiting complex, NASA said IT added that the station was well stocked with everything the crew needs, including food, water, clothing, and oxygen, and that Wilmore and Williams understood the possibilities and unknowns of their mission, including being aboard station longer than planned. The Starliner craft ran into problems before it even reached the ISS, with NASA and Boeing identifying helium leaks and issues with its thrusters as it approached the space station. Following weeks of in-space and ground testing, technical interchange meetings, and agency reviews, NASA made the decision to prioritize safety and return Starliner without its crew, NASA said. Wilmore and Williams will continue their work aboard station as part of the Expedition 7172 crew, returning in February 2025 with the agency's SpaceX Crew-9 mission. Wilmore and Williams are now scheduled to return with the SpaceX Crew-9 mission, after eight months on board the ISS. Ken Bowersox, an associate administrator at the Space Operations Mission Directorate, said of the Starliner's return. Even though it was necessary to return the spacecraft uncrewed, NASA and Boeing learned an incredible amount about Starliner in the most extreme environment possible. The Boeing Starliner spacecraft successfully completed its uncrewed flight back to Earth, NASA announced overnight. The return ended the STA. That's all for this story. 
We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.